Hey, just uh, welcome everybody. Uh, just got a quick update for you. Um, just want to do this real quick. Uh, the next part of the Jedi Circle series, we're going to be getting into uh, the five practices. Um, for these videos, these ones might take a, a little bit longer uh, for me to put together just because I don't want it to be this. Uh, I want to actually offer uh, a little something that uh, you potentially could use uh, yourself. One of those things like, uh, so we'll have physical fitness uh, is one of the five practices of Jedi. Um, I will not be doing any one-handed uh, handstands. Uh, honestly, I'm working on it though, uh, just because, you know, Luke Skywalker and Dagobah, yeah, I don't know. I just, just a fun thing. Um, but no, that, that's not what we're doing. But uh, I do want to put together kind of just a, a kind of example of a quick routine that I do in fact do um to kind of fulfill that uh fulfill that goal and fulfill that requirement um i also kind of want to make it uh pretty accessible to everybody meaning like um that most people would be able to to incorporate it in their daily lives um meditation of course is a daily practice uh of the jedi uh so if you're if you're claiming to be a jedi get on that meditation do not neglect uh that meditation um but if uh but i want to offer like a video that that kind of uh, allows people to to um meditate you know uh to that that they can actually pull up the video and they can actually uh use it uh, uh to fulfill that practice um some of the other ones are kind of easier uh self discipline is pretty self-explanatory i might do that one first depending on how the videos and, and kind of putting the videos together for the other ones go diplomacy i have an idea of what i want to do but it's kind of it, it's 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 more grandiose than I, I could probably put together uh myself um so we'll see how that goes um i might just have to go a different route um, but again, I kind of want that to be more interactive. Uh, maybe I'll pull in a couple other Jedi or something, and we can we can we can put something together here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to uh, those practices are are really kind of hands on stuff. So I wanted to offer uh, something much more uh, tangible than than just me uh, talking at you with my uh, with my crappy camera and, and poor lighting uh, due to the natural lighting behind me. But anyways whatever enough critiquing my four videos um other quick thing since i since i am here doing this um is i did want to um i have been i've been uh, using my free time uh not to do those videos uh not putting those together instead i've been using my free time for the early access of knights of the fallen empire the expansion for uh star wars the old republic um i already i i finished one uh you know my main character has already gone through it and and finished that um it's it's fun i like i like it i like what what bioware has kind of done there's there's obviously um you could really dig into it you can get you could dig into the to the story concepts you can there uh, i imagine there will be pretty uh some gripes on on kind of how the way the story is developed in the direction it's gone um but uh i like I like the the general changes uh, overall to the game that BioWare has made. Uh, they really streamlined the process. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I think it'll actually play out for new people. If you if you've been thinking about playing it, understand that these games that BioWare um, ha has gone back to their form, and that is storytelling. Um, if you're if you're just looking for an MMORPG, which you know you can you know uh, you're looking for the gaming experience uh then then certainly um star wars might not be uh on the highest of the uh, you know list there um there's plenty of good games out there that you can really get into that uh that genre and kind of get into the gaming mechanics of it personally i like uh bioware i've been a fan of bioware for a very long time uh definitely definitely since knights of the old republic um but I've always enjoyed uh, the more simplistic gameplay with more of the heavy focus on on uh, the role playing elements and the story and kind of playing Bioware has always been about an interactive storytelling experience rather than 
a gameplay experience. Um, most of their games, I don't, I don't think you'd really say are challenging uh, in that gamer way. Um, and Knights of the Fallen Empire uh, continues that. Uh, the way that they change companions as well, like companions are no longer um, set in, in their role, right? Uh, like, for example, for the Jedi Knight, um, you know, T7 was a, your first companion, was a ranged uh, tank. And, and, you know, that's, that was his role and that was his thing. Um, of course, having two tanks rolling around, like if you, a Jedi Knight tends to go, uh, you know, uh, tank or at least DPS, but having those kind of, uh, go that way m presents that gaming challenge of kind of, you know, uh, working out the best t uh, strategy and kind of healing up and what do you, what does your character need? What do you need to carry with you? Maybe extra, extra, uh med packs and things like that now uh you set your role for your companion so it doesn't matter who you have with you um you can make them a healer a tank or or dps uh it doesn't matter um you get to tell them like what kind of you get to say what kind of companion you want which i like because again it goes back to the storytelling i heard a lot of people griping about it in the game but i like it um, because it means I get to roll around with the companion I want, not the companion I need, right? I don't have to be stuck as a tank. I don't have to be stuck with my healer um, that I don't like and don't want to progress the story with. And I don't care if I if I get because with your companions you get conversation points. You know, in a conversation they can approve or disapprove, and they change that a bit too. Um, they definitely made it a lot more like it used to be. I think like what was it like? A, no, uh, 10,000, you got to get to 10,000 like, uh, points to max out. Uh, now it's something like 24,000 or no, wait, no, that's not right. 200,000. It's something, it's ridiculously long. It's way it's yeah. It's 200,000. I think maybe I'll have to go back and look at it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a longer journey. Um, the way the conversations play out when you play them anyways, I'm getting off track point being, um, that you get to carry around the companion you want the the one that fits your character the one that fits you know and it's not about role it's not about you know um if you were playing a dark side character uh and like say jedi knight and you were playing like a dark you know always making the dark choices um having someone like kira or t7 around uh trashes your approval rating with them obviously because they're they're more focused to the other side um but you're kind of stuck with them you know, um, due to things. But now when uh, you have someone, you know, like, oh, I want this guy to come around with me because he understands the choices I make. Um, you're not worried about, well, he's not a healer or he's not a DPS, whatever. Now you get to, you know, uh, arrange it the way you want. I like that. Uh, it, it gives m me and like more sense of the character and who they would have you know, rolling around with them and, and who I want to earn reputation points with and, and who I want to, to kind of, obviously you're still stuck with, you know, your companions until you pick up new ones. Uh, so that's still there. But uh, when you get a companion you like, you don't have to worry about, oh, are they DPS? And, you know, and, and so I like that. I, I am a fan. Um, and overall, like uh, for Knights of the Fallen Empire, um, the story is interesting. Uh, I liked it. It's kind of got that. Uh, uh, then the, this other empire. I feel bad for Imperials. I don't really. I mean, I have all Imperial characters, and I'm, I'm currently working on 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 taking a, uh, my Sith through, just because I want to. Because I've already done my main characters, a Jedi, obviously, light side, all good, you know. And I've already went through it with him, but uh, I want to check out kind of like the dark side and dark angle and kind of uh, different choices, of course, you know, as you play through different times with different perspectives and different goals and things. Um, but I feel bad because like the, the, the Empire has like there's there's Sith, right? There's, there's Imperials and they're part of the Empire and the Empire has Sith. And it's like, cool, Sith species, Sith. Uh, philosophy, uh, Sith uh, language, like there's like a like Sith is splintered in in kind of uh, 
Star Wars um, due to due to the expanded universe or legends now it's it's used in a lot of different formats which you kind of have to clarify or kind of have to make assumptions on but now there's there's this other empire and then there's the empire and now you have two empires and now you can be a sith that's a part of this empire but then you have to clarify no i'm part of the imperial empire and it's uh uh it, it won't come up in game uh and and probably won't really come up unless you're like really you know like part of a guild or role playing or you know uh really involved in it um it's a minor thing in that sense you know it's, it's just for like fans who really enjoy the role playing and the story of it it's yeah new words need to be <laughs> need to be used here i think we need a new naming system uh other than empire and and kind of maybe like start start getting a little more specific with what sith means um anyway so uh it is it is enjoyable i like the chapters uh chapters make it fun um and what it is is you kind of play a chapter and it seems like they'll be ongoing um so it's free the the expansion's free for subscribers um so which is makes the this expansion the cheapest because i believe if you're a subscriber which is 15 dollars a month um so for one month you want to try it out you, you pay your 15 dollars, and you'll get and if i remember correctly you not only get uh knights of the fallen empire but you also get uh shadow of revan too if you're a subscriber so you'd be able to play so you're technically you're technically getting two expansions for the price of one uh if you become a subscriber and if you like the additions if you like the you know things and it, um if you do that you also get i think one character straight up to 60. i know i did i don't know if that was a special thing though for already being a subscriber but i think if you subscribe uh you do get a character that allows you to start at 60 so you can jump right into to knights of the the fallen empire if that's uh thing i haven't done it yet i haven't created uh i still have the option to create a level 60 character they say all the story has been done for you so you don't have to go back and like do stories or anything but i'm but for uh for a game that's i don't know i guess none of your choices really matter at night, so yeah, I guess your choices don't matter. So it doesn't matter that like that that you've technically completed the game, but you are missing out on the story. And so for someone who's new, new to the game, I wouldn't recommend it because you miss out on such a great. It's a it's a much longer journey, obviously, getting from one to to sixty five, uh, but it's worthwhile. And like I said, that it's streamlined now. Uh, like when I first started, it was like any other OMM RP. Oh, MMO, there we go. MMO RPG, sorry. Um, uh, it it was like any other. So you had to do all the quests. Like when someone had a quest there, you you had to do it to in in order to kind of be at the proper level and stuff. You didn't. There was no side quest, right? Like it's a quest, and you do it. Now it's now it's optional. Um, you can do just kind of like basically you do like the planet's main storyline quest. And your your storyline, your character storyline quest, and you can just do those two and kind of uh, go through go through the um, planet rather quickly. Where you know it used to be, you're kind of doing all these different side quests that kind of had you going back and forth doing this, doing that. and there's still a little back and forth, but it's a lot more stream side uh, streamlined. Even some of the quests have been streamlined. Like Tatooine has been streamlined. Oh, like the planet one. Um, that so there it used to be a long you got to the end of the quest line and then there was this long long base that you had to trek through and go through and get all the way to the end to go through another little base to get to the end and that's all been streamlined now like now you go in take the elevator boom bam you're there done deal um due to that though they've actually taken out some of the um bonus quests like in that one the it's a that bo uh, there used to be a bonus quest that went along with that that's no longer available but again it's streamlined um you don't really need it you definitely don't need it to collect comms anymore you can still do all the fun stuff to level up your character like flashpoints or whatever if you have friends that apply um you can still do all that good stuff to kind of build up they change comms to now gems or something i don't know gems they look like gems yeah 
So I don't know, but it's I enjoy it. If you if you liked Star Wars before, if you liked um, the Old Republic before, I think you'll like the streamlined thing. It might be worth you know the fifteen dollars just to check it out when it when it comes out. Uh, no, it comes out today. Should be available today. So yeah, hey, perfect timing. I meant to do that actually. I totally planned that out that today it's available and I'm doing the video. Jedi forethought. That's what it was. Um, so yeah, if you if if I think it's worth the investment at least for a month to check it out if you have the time. Obviously, um, the 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 expansion I had fun with. The storyline's interesting. It, it's it's definitely got kind of like the Roman Empire kind of feel, like not visually, but when you start looking at the politics and kind of how the storyline's playing out, who's involved with what, it definitely takes your your character on a on a, a ride. Um, uh, it definitely has some some interesting elements uh, to it. I found myself laughing. Uh, I didn't expect much from it, you know. Um, I was just kind of curious to see how Bioware would go about with it, you know, especially how they're building it. Oh, we're going back to to our storytelling ways and stuff. But they really did it. The music's there, and it's kind of constant and it and it's scene related, so that makes a big difference. Oh, I love that. Uh, I used to play Star Wars with without the music going and have my own soundtrack going uh, in the background and, and kind of made it much more fun. But now that they have the music that, that kind of goes along, it's kind of continuous and makes sense to, to what you're doing, uh, definitely, definitely uh, made a difference. And I like the storytelling. I like how it's going. Your choices in this seem to have, I don't know yet. Um, Obviously, not all the chapters are done. Um, I've done up to the chapters that they have, which I think is nine. Uh, I'm not sure if they're coming out. I don't think 10 has come out yet, um, but uh, it's fun. It's interesting. And and they say things like, your actions will be remembered. Your choice here will be remembered. And I'm like, what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I want to take it back now. Wait, what do you mean that it's remembered? So it's going to be interesting to see um kind of how your choices affect what happens later on in the game with your character because they seem to to have a thing i don't know like i've already had a companion die and i don't know if that's just story written or if that was choice related or what uh so i probably should have spoiled no, spoilers i had a companion die hopefully it's not for everybody hopefully that's just you know my own uh you know things i think so because the way like i look at it and it, and it seems like that companion should still be there like it's interesting when you look at their bios and stuff and and like that person's bio um was like was like yeah they 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 oh, never mind i can't i won't i won't i've probably i messed that up already sorry um but yeah i've had fun it was i was i was crushed there was a few tears uh going on there um and a few laughs and a few smiles and and i enjoyed it it's a very streamlined process it's a very streamlined gameplay um i yeah so i give the thumbs up there um it's not uh the force awakens trailer uh level of cool right um but you know it's still up there i say it's it's below it but it's still it's still pretty high um uh, so yeah, it's good. Uh, so I recommend. It. Uh, I'm not gonna. I don't want to get too much into it. Oh, crafting was stream. Well, you can you can read the updates. I'm not gonna give you all the updates. I I've enjoyed the changes. That's all I can say. You you can read up on the changes on Bioware site or whatever, um, or while it's you know loading because it's gonna you know you're gonna have to patch and stuff if you haven't been playing in a while. Uh, but it was it was. Uh, I've enjoyed the changes. I don't really have a lot of bad things to say about it. Uh, there's a couple things that are kind of like, eh, it doesn't really vibe with me, but um, those are more story oriented and, and, and they're more question marks. Um, overall gameplay wise, I, I'm a fan of the streamlined process and, and, uh, and I think, I think it'll make the game much more story driven and much more interactive and much more entertaining. Uh, for Star Wars fans, um, 
and that's what it is. Don't don't approach it. it this is my recommendation before I sign. Don't if you if you haven't played it yet and you're thinking about it, and you're like, man, should I? Yes, you should. Fifteen dollars one month. Give it a shot. Check it out. Um, you don't have to, of course, right? It's free to play, but um, Knights of the Fallen Empire does require you to be a, a subscriber if you do want to play to that. But if you just want to check out the game, uh, of course, it's free to play, so you can you can do that. But um, I do recommend the game. If you haven't played in a while, I recommend it, but definitely approach it with the idea of interactive storytelling, that it's your journey, um, that it's a, a journey of a character, and, and you get to, to have an active hand in that. Um, don't think of it so much as a game. You know, uh, the game mechanics are just driving the story along, making it more interactive and more involved for you. That's all it is. Um, so I think if you approach it with that kind of mindset, it'll it'll be much more engaging than than if you were uh, approaching it with the mindset of I want I want really you know complex and, and core game mechanics. Uh, I don't know if that's ever really been Bioware's strong suit. I mean, they have some good games uh, with with core game mechanics uh, in there, but. I don't know. I've always really just enjoyed their story driven stuff, especially Jade Empire. I was like just a big fan of that one too. That that one cemented that game cemented my my love for Bioware. Uh, of course, Knights of the Old Republic before that, definitely a fan. But then Jade Empire was like, okay, we're good. Uh, a fan for life, and and yeah, I've been I've been good with uh, with most of the products that they put out. So, um, yep, recommend and. I'll cut back my Knights of the Fallen Empire time, and 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 try to work on some some videos for for uh, uh, the Jedi the Jedi lecture series. Because, um, but like I said, I want them to be more involved. So the timetable on on when they come out, I might mix up the order too, on uh, which videos get done first. I'm not gonna do them kind of in the order I have them written down. Uh, I might just mix them up and, and do things. But I really want to put together something much more interactive for you guys. Um, for I don't even know who watches these things, honestly. I know, actually, I know like two people that watch these. So um, technically three. All right, three. Three. Uh, so shout out to, to Sky Guy Pat, who, uh, who watches these. Um, my mom, no, nah, she probably didn't even watch these. See, so it's down to two down to two um and then and then the other person of course is myself when when i have to do editing all the all the stuff so so hi editor how you doing that uh no seriously whoever else is watching these man you too and thanks thanks for watching by the way i know these things aren't that fun but that's why i want to try to get out some videos that are much more engaging and and you guys can really get involved with and, and like you know uh you know put put your hands to wood man you know you get to work get active start start digging into the jedi stuff um so hopefully that's what we'll have for you and then uh i'll see what i can do uh with future videos to kind of make them more hands-on as well so that's it and i'm done have a great day and may the force be with you